Hi students, exams are approaching nearby and there were plenty of questions based on balancing of equations. As you are aware of the fact that balancing is used in the numericals of mole concepts, stoichiometry and in inorganic chemistry. There are numericals in board examination where you have to balance the equation and then proceed for the numerical. So we decided to come up with a video session on balancing of equations. All the equations which are given to you in the board examinations are redox reactions having half oxidation and half reduction reactions. These reactions can be very comfortably and readily solved by the concept of oxidation and reduction. Oxidation is nothing but addition of oxygen, removal of hydrogen, removal of electron and increase in oxidation number. Similarly, reduction is removal of oxygen, addition of hydrogen, addition of electron and decrease in oxidation number of the element. As there was doubt in one of the reactions for balancing, a student has asked for a reaction and that reaction was acidified KMnO4 converts ferrous sulfate ferric sulfate. Now writing the equation for it, KMnO4 plus H2SO4 plus FeSO4 gives K2SO4 plus MnSO4 plus Fe2SO4 whole thrice plus H2. Now in this reaction, since this reaction has two parts, oxidation and reduction, we have to first of all segregate this equation into oxidation and reduction. So for the segregation of oxidation part of the reaction, we are considering KMnO4 and we are calculating the oxidation state of Mn. As we know that potassium has a fixed oxidation state that is of plus 1, manganese has variable oxidation state which we are going to calculate and we are assuming it to be X. Oxygen is fixed minus 2 and 4 atoms of oxygen are there into this molecule, hence plus 1 plus x minus 2 into 4 is equal to 0. So plus 1 plus x minus 8 is 0 and x becomes equal to 7. Now here manganese is showing the oxidation state in KMnO4 as plus 7. Now we are calculating the oxidation state of manganese in MnSO4. In MnSO4 only two ions are there, sulfate is minus 2, so assuming Mn to be x, reaction is x minus 2 is equal to 0 and x becomes equal to 2. Now see over here, the same element manganese is showing oxidation state of plus 7 in reactant side in KMnO4 and in product side in MnSO4 as plus 2. This is reduction where the number is decreasing from plus 7 to plus 2. Now, second part where the oxidation will take place will be Fe plus 2 which is converted to Fe plus 3. Ferrous is converted to ferric. Now, segregating these two equations, KMnO4 is converted into MnSO4, henceforth see the procedure how we are moving. First of all, what we are doing is we are calculating the number of atoms on both the sides. In reactant and product side, we are having Mn, Mn to be 1, 1 ion, but potassium is not in the product side. So what we have done is we have taken potassium sulfate K2SO4. As soon as we take potassium sulfate, what happens is manganese, potassium, they are 2 over here. So it becomes 2 for potassium and similarly 2 for Mn. Now, sulfates are 3 in the product side. That is Mn, SO4 are 2 molecules and potassium sulfate is 1 molecule. So overall sulfates are 3 ions. Now, for that we are writing thrice H2SO4 and this reaction has equal number of sulfate ions on both the sides. As soon as we have added sulfuric acid, in the product side we have to form water and this also will be 3 molecules. When this process takes place, 
out of the eight oxygens which we are having in KMnO4, three are used in water and five are remaining. Students just note that this is the way to check your half reaction. If you are having five nascent oxygen, nascent oxygens are the oxygens which are generated into the reaction. And if you are having five oxygen, then be sure that you will be having 10 electron because one oxygen has minus two charge. So five oxygen will have minus 10 charge and henceforth there will be 10 electrons. Now, this is to check one manganese which was plus seven oxidation state in reactant and when two KMnO4s are there, then two manganese are there, henceforth that it becomes plus 7, 14. Now plus 14 is converted to manganese which is plus 2 into 2 that is plus 4. So there are 10 electrons, henceforth 5 oxygen and 10 electrons have correlated and these are only the two things which will be removed for the reaction when we consider both of the reactions. Considering the second reaction, Fe2SO4 is converted to Fe2SO4 whole thrice. Now here Fe plus 2 and here Fe is plus 3. So making two at ions of Fe plus 2, we are writing twice FeSO4. Sulfates are 3 in product size. So we have taken sulfuric acid from the main reaction. And as soon as we take H2SO4, we will be forming water in the product side and henceforth we will be requiring one nascent oxygen. The nascent oxygen which is in the product side of first reaction has to be consumed and that is why it is to be considered into the reactant side and Fe which was in plus 2 state is converted to plus 3 state that is removal of one electron but since two Fe plus 2s are there which are converted to two Fe plus 3s so two electrons will be removed and now as I told you that oxygens are to be cancelled and the electrons are to be cancelled. This is the only parameter on which the reactions are balanced. So when we are having 10 electrons in the first reaction and two electrons in the second reaction, we have to multiply the second equation by five. So when we multiply it, we get the overall reaction as twice KMnO4 plus H2, 8H2SO4 plus 10FeSO4 gives K2SO4 plus twice MnSO4 plus 5Fe2SO4 whole thrice plus 8H2O. Now here 2 potassium, here also 2 potassium. Manganese are 2 in reactant side, manganese are 2 in the product side. Oxygen are 8 in KMnO4 while oxygen are 8 in water. In sulfate, 8 sulfates in H2SO4 and 10 in FeSO4 becomes total 18. Here in product side, sulfate of K2SO4 1, MnSO4 2 plus 5 into 315. So 15 plus 2, 17 plus 1, 18. So 18 on both the side. Similarly, iron 10, iron 10. This overall reaction is now balanced and this is only the beauty of the reaction that when we calculate the number of atoms after balancing with the electrons and nascent oxygen, the reaction becomes totally balanced and when it is balanced, our purpose is solved. So practice makes everybody perfect. Go on practicing the equations. After two or three practices, you will be perfect in this process and none of the equations will become wrong. So all the best. Solve the equations properly and proceed with a thorough revision. Thank you.